All right, so we're back in the shop. But what we're gonna do today, we're gonna talk about something. I bought something. I really, do I need another project? No, I really don't. But like I said, the thing with the Duke is it, it's my long-term project. It's not something I'm trying to finish in two, three months. So I had to order sheet metal for this thing. So I'm on hold with sheet metal and stuff so I can finish out the doors. I don't wanna do a whole lot of body work on this thing until I have the doors hung on it. But I did get a little board, did a little body work on that. And then over here on the inside, I did that inner fender well, and then I ran out of sheet metal, I need that. But that's what it looks like with the tank and stuff sitting in it. I think it looks pretty good. So, like I said, I'm waiting on some stuff for that. And then in the meantime, I'm also working on this for a buddy. Uh, I'm working on his engine bay. We'll get that painted up. So there'll be a video, a video done on that, uh, the paint process. But that's not why we're here. That's not what we're gonna talk about. We're gonna talk about the fact that I want a cool daily driver. Do I really need to do this? No, but you know, I feel like I can do it fairly quick, but at the same time, I want y'all's opinion on it. Should I build it how I want it, or should I initially build it as a budget, set a budget, and go from there, and then once it's built, I can do all the other little things I wanna do and show you can build an affordable, fun, vehicle let's go with that so i'm gonna roll it in here and i'm gonna show it to you and then we'll talk a little bit about it and what i'm gonna do with it and then i can get y'all's vote or comment down below on how i should go about building it budget wise i know how i'm gonna build it but budget wise so let me go grab it Ford F100 unibody. But look at this. That's, that's pretty good. Like, considering, I mean, everybody's just sitting. Oh, you didn't see that. Uh, it needs a little work. So that's what we're here to do. We're gonna do a little work to this truck. So, let's take a walk around it. Let's look at it. All right, like I said, I bought this 1963 Ford F100. It's really a pretty solid truck. Uh, it had some kind of AC in here. It's got a... Ew, what is that? Oh, my lantern. See, look at that. That works pretty good. But the truck, the windows are already down. The truck is straight, like really straight. It's a very solid truck, it, it really is. Pretty straight. The only real rust is like, got a little bit there in the tailgate. Got a little bit there in the tailgate, which it's not the end of the world. Is this open? Yep. But the bed itself is pretty good. It's got these awesome toolboxes. Full of fishing stuff. So, actually, there's a name of this truck. After me and Pablo went and got it, talked about it, came up with the name Gilligan. So, we're gonna call this truck Gilligan. 
Is it silly? Yeah, yeah, it is, but you know, that's the same. This is Gilligan. It is, if you didn't peep it, it's extra long. It is a long bed truck. I like it for the fact that it's a long bed truck. People don't like four-door cars. I've built a few four-door cars. People don't like long beds. I've never built a long bed, so we're gonna build a long bed. But this is Gilligan. I already started collecting some parts for it too. So I did a poll on the old Facebook. I already posted a picture of this truck, so people know I have this truck, but nobody knows the plan of this truck. I said, what should I do with this truck? I'm gonna read you some of those comments. Some of them are just outlandish. So, we're gonna read one of the comments. Some of the comments, I'm gonna tell you what they said. There's 191 here. We're not gonna read 191. We're gonna go over like five of them that I just thought were crazy. Put a 460 in her. Jack her up 12 inches. Dana 60's front and rear, 40 swampers. And color her gloss black, no chrome, and call her headache. I mean, that's not a terrible idea, but no, we're not gonna do that. Put a coyote in it. Twin turbos. That's a no, but I, I do like that suggestion. I ain't gonna lie, that's pretty good. Put an LS in it. Make it run like it should. No. Put an EcoBoost in it. No. The common one. Sand it down and clear coat it. As much as I like tombstone clear coated, this truck is not getting clear coat. This is getting good old sweet patina sauce. If you know what I'm saying, that's what we're doing. Sweet patina sauce. Give it a little clean up because it needs it. But no, we're not clear coating this truck. It's crazy. Straight six with the turbo. I mean, I mean we're getting somewhere, but no. This guy said, sell it to some poor sap that thinks they're good looking. I'm that poor sap. I think it's good looking. Put an LS in it. No. One guy said put on a Crown Vic chassis. It's not a bad idea. I hear those run pretty good and drive pretty good. Possibility. So. What we're gonna do, I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do. How about that, not what we're gonna do. Yeah, I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do. Uh, sure, some of you might have a good idea. Maybe. What we have here is a 2007 Ford Crown Victoria P71 police interceptor car. Some of y'all might have guessed it, but like I said earlier, I want a cool, fun, daily driver. But here's the thing about this. The wheelbase of that truck is 122 inches. The wheelbase of this car is 114. So, I gotta extend this frame eight inches. Really not a big deal, not something I'm scared of, but it's a good car. And I got it fairly cheap. I wish I would've got it a little cheaper, but you know, it is what it is. But, like I was saying, how should I go about this? Should I just go ahead and build the truck out and probably be fairly expensive? Or should I set a budget and have to build that truck on this chassis for that budget, which I know people do it all the time, but I'm talking a good driving truck that you can drive every single day, not something that's thrown together to drive on weekends and hopefully you make it to dinner. I want something I can daily drive every day. Uh, now, what I'm thinking for that is, 
I set a budget of $5,000. That's not including the price of the truck. The truck itself, I will tell you, I paid $2,300 for that truck. But excluding the price of the truck, everything else will be including that price. I bought this car for $1,700. So right off the top, that's $1,700 knocked out of that $5,000. I've already ordered a steering column. I got a seat for it, a few things, but I plan to run the truck on a Holley Terminator X Max and go about it that way and see how far we can get with a $5,000 budget. I honestly believe we can get the whole truck running and driving easily, easily for that. And also I have a set of rims over there that uh, I will take stuff and I'll technically sell it to myself uh, I want to keep the 292 Y block that's in the truck. I want to save it for a future hot rod project. What the hot rod project is, I don't know, but I'll have an engine for it. The thing about that truck is, some people be like, oh, get it running, driving like it is. It don't have a transmission in it, and I don't feel like tracking down a transmission, drum brakes, but it does have a good 4 9 inch, and guess what? I'll take that 4 9 inch and I'll use it in the MG. I'll narrow it, get some self cut axles, and or cut to length axles, sorry. Do that, put that under the MG. I got the stuff to build the frame for the MG. I got a bunch of stuff going on, but this will all start at the beginning of the year. These will be the projects, the MG and the F100, and I will be painting a 66 Mustang and doing an engine swap, doing a whole little type of restoration on that for a friend. So that is where we're at. That is our goal. This video is not gonna be very long. It's not gonna be very entertaining, but I really need y'all's input on how I should go about doing this. Should I do a budget of $5,000? Or if y'all think I should try to do it a little lower? I don't know, maybe $5,000 for a budget isn't that feasible for some people, but some people it is. So just let me know down below what I should do. Or should I just build the truck how I want it? In the long run, I'll do that anyways, but the initial starting, running and driving of the truck, set it as a budget build. So let me know, what should I do? What should I do? Car is a 2007 Ford Crown Victoria P71. Like I said, I paid a little more than I wanted to for it, but you know, it's, it's fine. Let's see if I can get this hood open one day. Got it. So we got 4.6 liters of power. Uh, I know for a fact I'm gonna have to change out this throttle body because it is drive by wire. It has vacuum, vacuum boosted brakes, which thumbs up, makes my life a whole lot easier. But by swapping the body to this chassis, I get all the good suspension, I get everything. Yes, I gotta extend the frame, but that's all something we can deal with. It's not that big of a deal. I mean, she's a, she's a beater. But she's gonna turn into a 63 F100 unibody. But, I ain't really a whole lot to talk about on this car. It does good burnouts. I'll put that in right here. It works. It's going, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's a good burnout. That's a good burnout. So, like, the thing with the truck is, like, I want, like I said, I want a good daily driver. And the other thing is, I want something I can also beat the crap out of. I want to do burnouts. I want to do donuts. You drive by a a Lowe's parking lot and you're like what is all that smoke be like oh it's Chase doing a donuts in his 63 unibody that's what I want to happen so there's that a little more on the truck is like I said the truck has a 292 wide block you know got these sweet horns I looked at one earlier it got a sweet weld on it look at that I mean everything's here for the truck really I mean it's kind of a shame to take it apart but I'm gonna take it apart anyways uh these just these make good hot rod engines. They they really do. I think I think they're pretty cool engines. Uh, I'll save it for a Model A or something down the road. Something traditionally built. I don't know. Maybe I'll build another tail dragger if I ever finish this one. But it's pretty sweet. Pretty solid truck. Now over here in the floorboard, we got a uh, we got a little situation. It's, it's nothing I can't handle. Like I said, I I got I got to order some sheet metal, or I ordered sheet metal. It's a little little crusty, a little crusty. 
I think tombstone flooring is like way worse than this, but I'll come in here, vacuum it out, and assess the situation. These drop downs, they're in real, real good shape. Uh, I'm pretty sure for the Crown Vic swap, I have to cut this here all the way around the step and move that out. I'll be honest, I haven't looked a whole, whole lot into the swaps. I'm just going to go into a blind because I want to figure it out myself. Yeah, we got some press going on. We might be able to just patch little sections. We'll see. We'll see. And look, this door, this door shuts just as good. Can't beat it. The only thing I'm really worried about is with this toolbox. I'm scared there's going to be rust under there like under it and like rust out the bed but if it is it is we'll we'll come around to it oh another thing i do know i have to cut the hump like oh and like all the way down here like like beep, beep. yeah i know i gotta do that uh i watched uh the only thing i've really like watched on these things is uh Hot Rod Garage, that Crown Hick or whatever it is. I've watched some of that. I mean, it's going to be a little different, but give you a general idea of what I got to do. Got a sweet gun rack in here. You know, that's stained. Definitely stained. Get a headliner. See, this is all the type of stuff I'm talking about. Like, I don't know. We might be able to fit that into the budget because I looked it up. It's really not that expensive. I got a seat for a... I think it's like a 2014 F-150 is a rear seat. And I'll use that in there. Got to fold down and everything is black and silver. Look pretty good. Pull this tank out and all that stuff. But it is what it is. I want a good, good daily driver. Man, my English was lacking. But these are the two projects for this year. Holly Ford Fest, daily driver, Oh, and on top of all that, I got all the parts in for the Model A. So, well, except for the drive shaft. We need a drive shaft, but other than that, I got majority of everything. So, let me know what y'all think. Tell me what we should do with this truck budget-wise or whatever. I know I said it a few times, but I really, I really want input on that. I want to know how I should go about building this truck. Because sometimes I get carried away and it becomes super expensive and just super expensive. So I'm going to try avoiding that this time for a daily driver. So there you go. We are going to Crown Vic swap a 1963 Ford Unibody just like a bunch of other people have done. But I really haven't seen any long bits. Maybe I could be wrong. People are like, oh, short it. I'm not going to short it. So there you go. Let me know what you think. Till next time.